University of Wisconsin's Chancellor Joe Gao under fire for hiring a porn star to give a speech. Who was it? Who was it? Nina Hartley, who's been in the studio. Oh, legendary. Very nice yeah. woman. She's like a doctor or She's something, now right? a sex educator chick. Very yeah. good. That she was I paid mean, that's, that actually makes sense. $5,000 to speak about pornography on November 1st, wherein she talked about her career and assured listeners that it's okay to like porn. About 70 students went to see Hartley, a sex educator who's appeared in more than 1,000 X-rated movies, including wow. Debbie Does Dallas franchise and Debbie Does Wall Street, Debbie Does Dishes, you all recall Debbie those. Does Dishes. Mm -hmm, that's what it says. <laughs> Better know how that one goes. Excuse me. Is this where your fantasy started? I get the feeling they really Wait. didn't care. No. <laughs> you have that fantasy. Is oh, that where it started? Jo I don't think Josh knows this. Well, here's the problem. I do the dishes. Always have. Right. I'm a dishwasher. Well, then guy. how do you have the fantasy of coming up behind your lady Don't while she's you, doing the dishes? You've got to tie on in the briefcase. Honey, I'm home. And you she's come in. She's standing there in her apron at the Yeah, well, first of all, A, no apron, B, no briefcase, C, no tie. <laughs> with your, <laughs> with but, her um, booty back to you, yeah, you but, know. Yeah. Um, How about it, Josh? That's a very nice scenario. Yeah. Mm -hmm. According to WISC-TV. <clears throat> where you come first. School President Ray Cross threatened... Chancellor Gao saying the incident could jeopardize his raise. Okay. Cross added he's launching an investigation into the chancellor's spending. Gao has promised to reimburse the $5,000 fee. Cross wrote to Chancellor Gao, quote, you're being reprimanded for exercising poor judgment and no. for lack of responsible oversight with respect to the use of state funds. Now think about this. Pornography more is one of the biggest businesses in the world. And right. who's by, having by, more sex than college students? Nobody, yeah, but by bringing someone in, because Nina Hartley, who's actually been here, she's extremely articulate. Very and educated. Interesting and knows a lot about it. That's what we found out about the um, Visine. <laughs> Well, I suppose you're going to have to tell There's that. Mm -hmm. Can you, in a delicate way, tell you tell them what that means? Nina Hartley was telling us that when you um, shave in you, that area, yeah. instead of, if, so you don't get the red bumps from the razor, you use Visine, and it keeps the red bumps away. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. They don't show that in their commercials. No, they don't. No, they sure don't. Maybe they should. Hmm. Isn't that called, what's that called? Um, Off-label off using, or what's oh. the word for that? There's a word no. for that in English, uh, I forget, a phrase. Don't they use sometimes preparation H to to the tiny crow's feet around your yeah. eyes? Uh, for bags that's, under that, your eyes. Tighten that yeah. yeah. up yeah. a little bit? It's probably yeah. a bad idea, too. Um, the point is, I think that the university's making a mistake here. I do, too. I mean, let's face it, Josh. I'll, Josh and I are friends. I know that when you were in college, you majored in porn. But essentially, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, why not have someone... I mean, this is a, it's a huge factor in society. Aren't, aren't these some of the biggest, what do you call it, uh, the most hits on any website in the world? Aren't they these pornographic websites? They have to be. So why would you turn away from educating people about them? It makes no right. sense. No, it's, 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 and it's insulting. A little sad that only 70 people showed up to hear her speak. Well, that's probably because they didn't market it well. That's, mm. the, that's where they're, the problem is. Mm. I mean, you've talked Well, I think there might be. The, there, there are certainly some negatives about the... In many ways, the old cinema industry that you could mention. Well, uh, sure, but in many ways, Nina Hartley is a feminist. Yeah. So uh, there's no reason. I mean, I, isn't who, she in a relationship with a man and a woman? Oh, I don't know. That, I don't mm -hmm. know. But oh, the, can the, you imagine that? Yeah. Hmm. They're both like they're married. How I mean, could they, you not they, be fighting with one of them at least? <laughs> they let members of Congress <laughs> speak on college campuses, and I know. My congressman screwed me a lot more than <laughs> Nina Hartley. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Wouldn't you rather hear what Nina Hartley has to say than some politician? Absolutely. People probably bring her VHS tapes to sign. They might. That's what a veteran. She's most famous for it. Well, let me think. I think I've got this right. Isn't she the one on the driveway? In Boogie Nights. Yes. In Boogie Nights. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, and did we mention this? And I've we didn't. missed it. We did not. Ricky Jay passed away. He did, the yeah. The fabulous yeah, magician who's in did. Boogie Nights. And he's a great guy. Yeah. Oh, great sad. actor and the finest sleight of hand yeah. artist in, in the and, world. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. And an authority on carnival uh, shows. And yeah. Then, yeah. His book um, is, was wonderful. And in any, so in any event, I'm sorry. So Nina Hartley, she's not in trouble, but the... Chancellor at University of Wisconsin in Come trouble. on. That's the that's a smart move on his part, and they're being ridiculous. Just they are. Oh my gosh! You can't stick your head College in the sand. College students having people. sex. Yeah, it'll never happen here. Yeah. God. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hi, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Oh. Hey, Donnie. Perfect. So, Tom, I can't believe I'm agreeing with you on this. Oh, really? I think it only makes sense. 
Yeah, the, the fact remains, uh, eight-sevenths of night-shifted Xanadu's all dancing to put themselves through college. Eight-sevenths? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me, Christy. must include the cafeteria. Okay, go ahead and round up. <laughs> I, I figure they must all be getting MBAs and doctoring because most of them have been working on it for like 12 years now. Uh -huh. well, I'm sure some are. You know, it's amazing that chicks in medical school can afford, you know, knee-high patent leather boots but never have more than three matching hubcaps. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have your priorities, Donnie. But I think it's good this the super hot porn star went talked to all these college kids. Mm. There, there's a lot they can learn from, from a porn star. Mm. Like At first, college kids don't have a lot of money, so she could have taught them you know, how to be thrifty by, by you know, rinsing out their plugs so they don't have to waste money buying a disposable oh one. Oh, oh, boy. Second and foremost, <laughs> she could teach them... Um, I don't know. Maybe she can teach the chicks how to apply makeup so it don't run during the heat of passion. Mm -hmm. now, well, what else can a porn star <laughs> teach college students, Donnie? Uh, i got to admit, I didn't think this out too good before I picked up the phone and called you guys. Well, that's a switch. <laughs> I mean, I just think it'd be badass to have a porn star at your school anyway. Well, you'd be smart. Well, if, if they'd have scheduled a few more porn stars and a whole lot less motivational speakers, maybe I wouldn't have flunked out of small motor repair school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't ha it didn't go well? Uh, Damn, uh, what the uh, <laughs> Not at the end, Josh. You know what I remember about career days was being embarrassed for my friends who had their parents come in and start bragging about what they did for a living. Oh, yeah. And everybody knew half of them were playing pull tabs down at Benny's just to make ends meet. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> like his chick Stacy's dad talked about what it was like to be a fireman. And then Kelly's dad talked to us about being a realtor. And then he got mad and got red-ass at me. He called me a perv just because I asked if he's allowed to hook up a chicks in them empty houses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a simple no would have been fine. Uh -huh. Because my health teacher, Miss Diggins, and, you know, my butt still hurts from the board. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I thought career day was, you know, supposed to help you decide what you want to be when you get older. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, when your mom sends you to high school in a Daffy Duck pajama suit or oversized Looney Tune shirt, you only got two, two career options in your future. New dancing or managing a check in the cash. <laughs> <Pretty God. laughs> but then, when you know, when it was my mom, Phyllis's turn, she didn't get off more than three sentences from her mouth before Mrs. Boyles caught her up in and, and, and the career day. Oh. And I still don't know what the big deal was. She's just explaining it's probably the only job where you have to apply chapstick in two different places. Oh, Donnie. <laughs> or vice versa. Well, it ain't, it ain't like she put on Motley Crue and started swinging around a flagpole, Christy. Uh -huh. Good point. But she ended up getting banned from my school and was removed as PTA secretary. Really? So when she come pick me up, I'd have to meet her all the way out by the cemetery. Felt like a 12-year-old drifter. I swear to God. <laughs> But the good news is she did make two new regulars down at Santa Dude. Oh. Stacy and Kelly's dads. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> they didn't stop playing pull tabs neither. They just do it on pervert row for the next six years. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Donnie. Right. Donnie. Um, mm -hmm. Stacy's dad has got it going on, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>